and uh, I go to many schools in this country. I have conducted seminars in more than in schools spread around 12 counties. I'll give you details about my interactions with Laikipia County. But first, I'm a professional trainer on strategy, performance management, shape management, and also leadership. I'm also a widely published writer on the same area. And as I wrote in the media and uh, even a column that I wrote in uh, 2013 to 2018 on strategy, and as I trained in organization, organizations for many years, I noticed a problem. More than 80% of people who are employed, they are dispassionate about what they do. They are only passionate about what they get. Okay? And I saw a problem that not many that not many people were noticing. They were, most people are thinking that it's normal. And along the way, as I researched on that, I realized that more than 50% of our graduates are unemployable, not unemployed, because people are properly empowered with the power to read and do what appertains to the degrees conferred. They easily secure jobs or create their own. <coughs> now, when I saw those problems, and I couldn't get answers from uh, various authorities, I decided to write my first book, it's titled Career Dynamics in the 20, 21st Century, Sub Theme, Unleashing the Human Performance Potential. I wrote it, the first edition in 2015, and in 2016, the book was used by AICD for architecture of the competency-based competency -based curriculum, CBC, it was also approved for circulation in secondary schools in Kenya. And as people continued reading that book, they were asking me a question. Where is the next series? Where is the next series? And I didn't have a choice but to write another one. It's titled Living Beyond Survival, <laughs> sub theme No More Tiptoeing in Life, first published in 2018. And both of them now circulating schools in different parts of the country. And I'm happy to have arrived in this school, and when I arrived in this school, the principal got interested in the books, and he acquired a number of copies for the same, and also he decided to engage me for a seminar, like many other schools do. See ya, Pigui, my coffee, Tabalari. This is not my first time to be in Laikipia County. The first time I was in a school called Lulumo. Uh, in uh, Laikipia West, and I'm happy to have met one of the teachers who was later transferred here by the name Legina, uh, so she knows my content, and she can assure you that you get serious value from the session today, based on what she got in February 2021 in Rurumo High School. Uh, I've also been to another school called... Uh, Thiru uh, Secondary School, again is in Laikipia West, just near Durumo, not very far away. I had a seminar in 2021 June, uh, about June, yeah, mid, uh, early June. And again, 3rd June, I had a seminar in the same county, a school called uh, Bishop Lewis in Nyahururu town. And what happened in that school is quite exciting. <coughs> Four teachers rejoined school to realign themselves after my seminar and reading my book. Sini pigila makovi tabala. Teachers of uh, Dururumo also benefited a lot. And those of you who go to YouTube, uh, you can go to my YouTube channel and you see Dururumo, you see Bishop Ruiz, you see Zero, and many others, so that you can also get to know. Uh, what schools say about what I did. Now, I'm here today in Laikipia West. What is the seminar titled today? Creating the future today. Very simply, creating the future today. Why? You are not supposed to be in school for four years, and when you leave, that is when you are going to decide where you are supposed, what you are supposed to do without knowledge. Is that not what happens with most people? Is that not what happens? Many of them, 
decide what they are going to become or what they are going to do as they uh, finish the Kenya Certificate of Secondary School Examination, isn't it? From today, that thinking in this school, Nanyuki Garrison Secondary School, is going to change. Are we together? Yes. And that is why I'm here. By the time I leave here, all of you will be doing what you are likely to become when you leave school. Are we together? Yes. And in the process, many things, many good things will be happening. Now, uh, before we get there, I have something here which I would like you to look at. This is what? This is what? An umbrella. An This umbrella uh, is just like any other umbrella. But umbrellas have something in common, all of them. Are we together? Mm -hmm. Now, what is this that umbrellas have in common? Huh? What is it they have in common? Huh? Okay, now, so that we save on time, the first thing is, umbrellas are meant to do what for us? To? To shelter us from? Rain. And also? Fire. Now, if you don't open this umbrella, can it be helpful? No. It will be like a walking stick, isn't it? Yes. Now, the umbrella becomes useful to us only when we open it. Open it. For use, either to save gutters from sun or Rain. from. Rain. Now, like this umbrella, I'm urging you today open your minds just like the umbrella. Once you open your minds, you'll be able to get very good ideas of how to align your life, align your studies, align whatever you do in school and out of school. Once you open, you can see what I have taken you through is something that I have done even in my own home. Are we together? Yes. And it works. And now, eventually, I tested these ideas in a school called State House Girls. 2015, 2016, 2017, and the ideas were accept, accepted very well in the school system, especially after career dynamics in the 21st century was used for architecture of the new curriculum and also approved for succession in the school. Now we have a chance of meeting it. I have tested these ideas in university. The first one was United States International University, where I was called to go and conduct a seminar for 30 years and four years when they were just about to finish uh, school and I saw a lot of confusion and I was again invited at Kenyatta University <coughs> those who go to YouTube I have an interview at Kenyatta University which happened in 2016 January uh, I conducted a seminar in the uh, University of Nairobi two times and I realized there is a lot of uh, challenges of empowerment at that level. And I stopped going to university and started now dealing with secondary schools. That is why I'm in your school. Otherwise, universities call me and I don't respond. Why? I don't want to be part of problems that I cannot be able to solve. Are we together? But here, we have solved the problems of disempowerment today. Haven't we? Yeah. We have. Now, finally, how many of you are swimmers? Wow! 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 Excited! Excited! When is it enjoyable? Swimming along the tide or in the tide? Along the tide or in the tide? Along the tide. It doesn't matter whether it's in a river or the Indian Ocean. When you swim along the tide, it is very enjoyable, isn't it? Yes. When you swim again in the tide, it becomes punishment. <laughs> you use so much effort and you get so tired, isn't it? Yes. Now, doing that, swimming again in the tide, is as good as failing to follow your natural orientation on your choice of the empowerment pathway. 
or you are learning process. You make the wrong choices because of not understanding your natural orientations. Are we together? Once you align yourself with your natural orientations, it becomes like you know somebody was swimming around the tide. And very finally, very finally, <coughs> this is a chip. You can see a chip in deep sea, isn't it? Yes. Suppose this chip loses its compass. What happens? It loses direction. It just goes in water and eventually it sinks. Isn't it? Yes. Is that not what happens? The moment you don't follow your natural, natural orientations, this is likely to happen. You can easily sink or be made to sink by the powers of nature. Are we together? Yes. So, align yourself appropriately so that you don't lose your compass. Are we together? Once you align yourself like with your purpose, what will happen? You are likely to become a great individual. And I want to imagine that we are going to create great individuals from this school. From today and forth. Yes. Isn't it? Yes. Why? Great individuals create great teams. Great teams create great organizations. Great organizations create great nations and great nations everybody gets the deserving deserving great reward in in this school are we going to create great individuals like we have discussed today yes is it going to happen yes are we creating the future from today and forth yes if that is the case and you agree with me i rest my case, my case a very satisfied Kenyan who has now contributed to producing great Kenyans from this school from today and so And with that, thank you so much.